everyone. You have a special, special thing happening today where we are going to talk about furniture painting business. And today I have Tracy Bellion on with us. I think you might know who she is. She's a whimsical furniture painter at Tracy's Fancy. So I'm um, just hesitating, Emily, because it says chatting with Vicki Watkins up at the top. <laughs> it, it shouldn't. I have it all right. My, my, I don't know. Mine does. That's okay. It's okay. Okay, mine says the right thing. I, okay, good. And I, I am Emily Reagan. I'm usually the girl behind the scenes not doing this. So bear with us for a second. <laughs> so we wanted to come into the group. We were invited in the group uh, today to talk about um, how a VA has helped Tracy with her online furniture painting business. So that's, you guys have any questions about this, um, let us know. We'd lo love to know where you are in your business. If you are uh, offering your services online, selling paint online, selling furniture online, or maybe you're just a brick and mortar and this is an area that where you would like to grow. So we're here to help you and answer your questions and share a little bit of our story of our working relationship and how we have gotten Tracy to be um, where she's at. Yay. Yeah. Yay. Thank you, Emily. Yeah. I'm super excited that Dixieville asked us to do this because uh -huh. I know how much it helps. We have how much we have helped each other in growing our businesses. And I just want the world to know that this is out there. And a lot of yeah. people don't even know this is a possibility. There we, I get questions all the time. I do. And I love, that's just what I love representing Dixie Bell. This is why one of the reasons that I do is because they do want everyone to grow, not just their brand ambassadors or their content creators, but they're super supportive behind their retailers as well. And yeah. they are very, very supportive of the end user. So there are so many people that are in these groups that are um, really learning and enjoying and painting and just like, rocking it and ready to take their what they had seen as a hobby to the next level to a business level and then they get a little bit lost in that area of um what do i do now so yeah. i think this is a great idea and and ask away emily just lead lead the way and i'll i'll share with you Okay, if you see me looking down, I'm looking at my phone to try to see if there's any comments. So, okay. um, but I want you to keep talking because I'm listening. Okay, but, okay. But no, I mean, just in general. So, yeah. Tracy, can you tell everybody a little bit of where you were in your business when we met about, was it three and a half years ago, maybe? Almost four, yeah. Yeah. Almost four years ago. Oh um, I, uh, I had a great business going. I had a great thing going. I've been... Um, painting, taking custom orders for painted furniture for about 11 years. And uh, it started with a Facebook post by my daughter-in-law um, that uh, she had been asking me for quite some time to do, but I did. I was too nervous. I didn't know how to put a price on it. I didn't know how to ask people for money. I was embarrassed. I thought I would put something out there and no one would want it. And my family just kept saying, you've been doing this for years for other people. You really need to share this. I wasn't even on Facebook at the time. I didn't even have a Facebook account, um, you know, much less Instagram or anything like that. And my daughter-in-law did. And she, I, I painted a set of bedroom furniture for their new baby, which was my first grandchild. And without me knowing, she posted that bedroom set. And um, by the end of that month, I probably had, I'm not kidding, probably six months worth of orders. Uh, yeah, a lot. A oh my lot goodness. Of bedroom sets. There weren't very many people doing online furniture painting and sales at that time. So um, I really have her to thank for that. And very, very quickly thereafter, we started an Etsy shop because Etsy was the place that people were doing yeah. online business because Facebook really wasn't a going thing at that point. It was just starting, you know, it was just starting. So uh, we started an Etsy shop. She opened it. We did not have a clue what we were doing. And I didn't have the time to figure it out. I just said, you figure it out. You, you started this, you know, you figure yeah. it out. I have orders and I've got to find furniture and I have to paint. So um, that's what I did from that moment until I met you, Emily, about four years ago. So for about seven years, seven years, um, I just was scrambling. I mean, just flying by the seat of my pants and just all I knew to do was keep creating, just create, 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 paint, paint, paint yes. in the, in the garage, 24 seven, sleeping on the floor in the garage, not kidding, painting until I fall asleep. Um, just 
killing myself. I mean, really, really killing myself. And in the interim, I, my daughter-in-law moved on to do something else. I was trying to do it by myself. I didn't know how to do anything at all. I didn't know how to, I, I, I did know how to work Facebook at that time. And I did know how to work Instagram, but I didn't know how to work it in a way to grow my business. And right. I was just floundering really. Um, it's a little bit embarrassing now when I look back on it, I'm like, oh my gosh, that's like, I laugh, I laugh at it. Um, I did take on a business partner for two years um, and she, at the time was like, okay, we should probably start a, a, a blog. Um, and I liked the idea, but I didn't even have time to write it, which now is one of my favorite things to do. But at the time, <laughs> I didn't even have time. I let her write it and her style really didn't match my writing style. And anyway, then she moved on and I was back by myself again. Yeah. And that's about when you came into the picture. Now, when I met you, how many pieces of furniture were you painting a week? Uh, large pieces, uh -huh. uh, about six. Oh my gosh. Like dressers, chest of drawers, beds, buffets, china cabinets, about six a week. I don't even know how you could keep up with that. And then the like admin side of your business. It, it, it was like orders possible. So what happened was because I was trying to keep up with the orders, I did not grow my online business. And it's really yeah. put me behind as far as social media numbers yeah. go, as far as I've been in it. And as long as I've been in it, my numbers don't really reflect that because I was so lost yes. doing these huge amounts of orders where the people that have come along later were smarter and they yeah. might have done less and grew their social media at the same time. And I just, I never did that. And um, yeah. but there are lots of, lots of ladies and men out there that are pumping out furniture in that amount still right now, right now, yeah. mm -hmm. right now they're doing it. They're, they're, they're doing it and they probably don't have the time no. to do all the things or the know how to make sure it's effective. If you're going to take the effort to share your content, how can you do it in a way where it actually gets seen and helps Absolutely. you because you're taking time away from something you should be doing. Right. Now, if you don't mind me sharing this, mm -hmm. <laughs> you, you were kind of hung up on that, that you were behind. You knew you needed to be on social media. Oh, you yeah. knew you were failing at that. And I had to kind of come in there and just say, we got this. Like, we're going to, yeah, we're going to start super low, but it's going to be worth it. And now look where we are, you know, almost four years later. It, it was not easy and it took time, but you just hit 10,000 on Instagram. That's a big deal. I, yeah, <laughs> it seemed like it yeah. took forever. And now once there, now it's going really fast. Yeah. You know, now I'm like almost a 12 and, and yeah. that happened quickly, like really quickly. So, yeah. you know, now that now it's, you know, I think forever you've said it's starting to snowball. It's going to be like, yeah. I'm so tired of hearing about the dang snowball. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the snowball is, melting. Yeah, the snowball is melting. Yeah. I mean, but it wasn't easy. It took a lot of time. And I just want to go ahead and throw out this tip right now to people start on social media. Don't wait. There's never going to be a good time. Take pictures, start playing around. It does not have to be perfect. I did this in my own business. I was so busy promoting my clients. I wasn't promoting myself and I didn't get my Instagram going until April of yeah. this year. Yeah. And I know better. I know better. I do it for my clients. So, you know, just take this advice and just start doing it now. That's really a good lesson. And don't compare it when, when if you feel behind because everybody's in a different point. Everybody joined a me social media when it was operating at a different um, tempo. You know, so don't don't hesitate. So, um, OK, let's share. I feel like I could just talk to you all day about this, yeah. but <laughs> let's share about how um, you and I really got together. Um, I was uh, had always been a, a you know big fan of Jennifer Allwood. She really was into the social media game. Um, she had done a faux painting business. I knew business level wise. Uh, we kind of were in the same playing field as far as how much work we were doing and how yeah. long we had been doing it and how much work we were doing. But she was so ahead of the game as far as social media, so ahead. And yeah. she was just in this golden spot and she was so good at it. And she was just taking the bull by the horns and just doing it. And I, I admired her so much for that. And um, but I really never understood how she was doing all the things. And then she started sharing her business secrets and that she wasn't doing it alone. She wasn't by herself. Um, and so we met and we became friends and she one night I was in my garage, literally in my garage in tears, like just exhausted. And I bing, I got a message from her on my phone. 
just got a message and she said, um, you, you need to do this. And I was like, Jennifer, I can't, I, I can't, I don't, I don't have the time. And she said, you need a VA. And I was like, what's a VA? Like, I didn't even know what, what does that mean? And she told me that you need a VA. This is what you need. You need to let go. You've got to let go of the reins. I know it's hard, but you cannot do it all by you. If you want to grow, you need help. Yeah. And I said, okay, well, where do I find one of those things? One of those VAs. <laughs> she said, I have a girl that you would probably work well with. Let me give you her information or I'm going to email her and copy you and enter, do an introduction. Then I'll step out. And I said, okay, thanks. Okay. I came running into the house, told Matt, oh my gosh, she just gave me this nugget for nothing. Like she just said, do this. And I, I'd be crazy not to do it. So I responded to Emily and I was terrified. Emily, I was terrified to take you on and to have to pay you. Mm -hmm. Like, well, I'm going to have to pay someone to work with me. I, I was terrified to do that, but yeah, I think that's, that's normal. Matter, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so when we started out, you were coming in a place where you had just had a, a new website and you were overwhelmed by the new website. The typical thing that happens with a client for me is they have um, this beautiful website built and then the website guy leaves them in the dirt. <laughs> Yep. And, you know, they're on to the next project. They're not really good with the maintenance and the follow up. And mm -hmm. it's overwhelming when you're inside the dashboard of, of WordPress. And so I kind of picked you up and I, not like this, but kind of. <laughs> and I said, we got it. And we just started we just started checking and we started slowly. Mm -hmm. And I think a lot of people are scared of the VA because, yeah, that can be a big expense. But if, if you are purposeful with what tasks you give them and and. Um, start small, it's doable. And you just have to know that not everything is going to make you money right away. Right. When you hire a VA to help you, you're helping them grow your, your business in the long term. So I think one of the first things we did um, was kind of like figure out what's going on with your website. And that was our main focus for a yeah. long time. You gave me yeah. little nuggets what to do with social media. And you mm -hmm. said, you run with that. You do that. I've got a lot of mess to clean up here with this website. Yeah. So for anyone that's listening right now, what I, as a furniture painter, sign maker, wreath maker, whatever you are, whatever you're creative, whatever it is, if you have a little seed that's in your heart, if, talking to your brain saying, saying you can do this, you have the things, you can do this as a side gig, you can do this. Um, I'm just saying to you right now, look for help as, as fast as you can. Even when you don't know how you would pay that person, just step out in this leap of faith that if you believe in yourself and you believe in whatever product it is that you're doing, find someone that can that knows a va that knows what they're doing not someone who's going to learn alongside you but someone who's who's done it who's helped others check them out and get them to give you some direction because you're a creative you may not have great direction you're like pinging all over the place <laughs> like probably. so the the va a va that can give you some direction emily gave me direction i focused on my social media finally and created and she fixed my website which was huge in the meantime and then we just we would just keep peeling away the layers that's what we did and that's what we are still doing yeah. yeah, and we'll we'll go into more of exactly what we did uh, over on Tracy's page on Monday, October 21st. We're going to do an office hours with some yeah. steps that you can do. And yeah. I don't want to get into this now, but I want you to know that there is a ton of VA can do. And we did start off, you know, blogging regularly, doing emails regularly. And we, we had a purpose for everything we did. And we were very careful about where we put those human resources. Because um, it's not like Tracy was, a giant pot of um, money right at that time. <laughs> you no, know, actually quite yeah. the opposite. My husband's uh, business had uh, closed. Um, they had closed it with the in 08 with the big crash and he had an oil business, a small oil company and oil and gas. And uh, we I was our only source of income, all that furniture, all those six pieces yeah. a week. That's what we were living on. We were in survival mode. So to take on an employee when we were just trying to make our car payment that month and put food on the table literally that was scary but it still was a leap of faith and it was the best thing i've ever done 
And I think that a good lesson in business, and people may have heard this, you may not have heard this, but if you're going to be an entrepreneur, you need to spend your time doing the things that grow and make your business you. So Tracy, even though she can else and, you know, fix she I mean you could easily do any of the things I was doing it probably would have taken you three times as longer but Tracy needed to be focusing on the 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 things that made her brand and that was painting furniture content. yes content mm -hmm. sharing her tips and all of that and so I was able to come and do a lot of time saving tasks money saving tasks and uh or not money saving money making tasks and that is really what a true entrepreneurial you know, a true business owner will do. You won't get stuck in the nitty gritty. And everyone you see online has a team. Almost everybody does. So don't they be fooled. Do. Yeah. They don't be do. don't don't think anybody's doing it themselves. Oh Even my in my God. own they're business, I have people. Yes, if they're doing it and they're doing it successfully and uh things seem like ultra organized and mainstreamed and all there there's help. They're the face. Yes. They're the person that you <laughs> see, but there's there's help going on in the background. Totally. And and, that, and that's okay to have help. Yes. And it, it is scary to um, to hire someone on and have that, um, what am I trying to say, that cost, that like mm -hmm. payroll cost. Mm -hmm. But if we do it in a way where with Tracy, I just did four hours a month. Mm -hmm. And then I started, you know, kind of creeping up on you. I'm like, okay, we need to do more. We need to do more. And luckily mm -hmm. we had built enough trust. We started oh. out early. Mm -hmm. I knew she was going to pay me if I did the work. I knew you weren't going to screw me. You knew I wasn't going to screw you. It was mm -hmm. just a good relationship in that mm -hmm. regard. But we just started off with those small little chunks. And every time I hit four hours, I build you. And you can find a VA just really quickly. You could find a VA between $10 an hour and up to like 50 it just depends on their skill level. And at the time, I was a lot cheaper. <laughs> you were. You I was were. a lot cheaper. And I just had it in my heart to help you because I loved working with you. I loved your, your branding. I loved your photos. I loved what you were doing. And I believed in you. And it was so easy to help you. Thank and you. you have one of the things that I like, I require from all of my clients. And that's just good photos. <laughs> You, took, you had really good photos that were worth, I could help you online virtually from across the country because you had good photos and I could work with that. And that is just like a, a little nugget out there for everybody. That so is a taking, little nugget. Yeah. That's a nugget because a lot of people do say, what can I do? I want to, I want to sell my things. I want to, I'm like, okay, well send me some pictures. Then I'm like, mm, that's probably where we need to start. Yeah. <laughs> Your photos. They're important. Yeah. I start that everywhere with my clients, but even if you are painting pieces now, start building that inventory of good photos because you can turn it into content later. And paint the process. I mean, photograph the process. Yes. The end result. Yes. Yeah. So we've been able to grow Tracy's email list from, I think when I got with you, it was like, <laughs> I, sh I should be better and document it. You had about 80 people. You were under 100. <laughs> And you didn't even know where those people were. <laughs> I didn't even know what an email. I knew I was supposed to have an email list, you know, that many years ago. But I was like, I don't even know. What What do you do with that? I don't know yeah. what do with that. And now, can you tell everyone where you're at now? Just as uh, motivation? No, honestly, I can't. Right now. Laura, <laughs> well, well, Laura updates me. She does. Five. Five. five you're, so. yeah, you're over five grand. I don't know yeah. if you're closer to six. I, but, actually, I was yeah. thinking we're closer to 6,500. So, uh, okay. Big difference yeah. yeah she update laura i have a i have multiple people now who help me and laura's <laughs> the one who does that and she keeps me updated monthly so yeah. but it changes and it's changing rapidly every day but it has taken us four years to get here yeah. and grow your email list and be strategic about everything and everything tracy's doing uh painting wise we're it's just all intentional. Like this is our end goal was to grow her email list and, and have people to market to later and share content with. It's not just about selling. It's about sharing yeah. blogs and sharing on Pinterest and it all kind of comes together. But Tracy didn't have the vision for that. At There's the time. No, more, no more floundering. We're yeah. not floundering anymore. <laughs> I floundered for seven years. There's no more floundering. <laughs> but there's always new challenges. <laughs> mm. 
But the, I think what we also want to tell people is Tracy did not, was not paying Facebook a dime. No. This is all Tracy Never. using her intellectual property and to grow her business. Like everything in here, everything in her heart grew her business to over 5,000 people. It wasn't not paying for these. It's important to know everyone thinks they need to throw money down at Facebook and you don't. But it could go quicker. No, Facebook, <laughs> I think my Facebook is up to uh, almost 30,000 on Facebook. Good. Yeah. And now mm -hmm. we are running a like ad for you. I mean, now we have some stuff going on in the background that we weren't doing four years ago, but it took time to get there and to understand. Who and so now you, yeah. you just said a term that so many people are not even going to know what that is. Like you said, I ran a like ad and they're going to be like, what? What is it? Oh, yeah. So I'm glad you stopped me there. Talk about later, but yeah. Um, yeah. But this is why you want to get someone who knows what they're doing because it's too much to know on your own. Mm -hmm. And not only could somebody help you online, if you have assistant in your in your area, I mean, what a big help could that be for you? Prepping and priming furniture and okay. delivering furniture. I mean, that could just free up so much more time for you to create and yes. do what you're good I at. Have, I have had assistance over the years, definitely. Even in those beginning seven years, I, I actually had a second prepper, primer, sander kind of person for a long time, multiple. I've had multiple people help, but I don't even need that anymore. I don't need a person here doing that anymore because I'm not pumping furniture out at that level, but I'm making yeah. way more money. Um, so I'm working smarter instead of harder. Um, and so uh, that, that speaks volumes to me. Yeah, for because sure. An online business doesn't mean you have to be pumping out all those pieces. Now, do I still want to, I still need to create content every single week? Yes, absolutely. I'm working hard. I still work very hard. Yeah. I work, you know, 70, easy 70 hours a week, easy. Yeah. Um, but it's because I'm in the middle of growing right now online and I'm doing furniture painting in my business has morphed into another, another business as well. So I have two different businesses and I'm open to, I'm open to other things as I grow online. The opportunities are endless. And this all started y'all just from painting furniture for mm -hmm. friends and family. And that's what I want to my point that I want to get across to those people in the groups that are sharing their work. And I see your work, your work is beautiful. You're doing yeah. beautiful things and you may not be a brick and mortar. You may not be a business owner. You just love what you're doing. And I'm there. You're just sitting on a gold mine. You really are. You just need to know, need to hook up with someone who knows how to help you grow. Yeah. And, and even if it's just helping you get found in your local area, Mm -hmm. with some a, a few simple Google tactics. Maybe it's opening an Etsy shop. Mm -hmm. uh, I know I throw out a lot of big words sometimes, but there are just little things a VA could help you do that can help you turn your hobby into a business and start making decent income from, from your skill yeah. and reaching more people, helping yeah. more people with your talent. So um, if you had to... Um, where would you where would you go? What's your best recommendation for where you would find a VA to help you with a business? So we let them know if anyone's asking anything that I can't see that, that we Yeah. Can't. Oh yeah, yeah. Okay. We're getting a lot of highs. We're getting okay. a lot of people saying hi and okay. this is really good information. So okay, good. no specific questions yet. Otherwise okay. I would interject. Okay, so what was the last question that you asked me? Um, where's the best place to find a VA? Um well there's a couple different things that you can do. One is you can check with someone that you know in a furniture painting business or any type of online business. Any any type they need to be it needs to be online because we're not talking about an a, an assistant, you know, that's going to be local for you. So, any type of online business, ask them if they have a helper, um if they have someone that's assisting them and mm -hmm. if would they mind sharing that information like Jennifer Allwood did because Emily worked for Jennifer and and um that that was a beautiful hookup. Um, maybe their VA doesn't have room to take on any more clients, but they might know other VAs in yeah. the industry so they can check. Maybe they would be able to hook you up. Um, Emily is no longer a VA, but she runs her own VA business now. She runs her own um, firm uh, and trains VAs and trains women to do this and then also hooks up business owners and VAs together. So you can reach out to Emily. You can um, reach out to some of the Facebook groups and ask in there or yes. you can look for something. You can do what Emily calls homegrown, which I 
am working with a girl right now who is a young girl that grew up with, not grew up, but went to college, was a cheerleader at Texas Tech with my daughter. They were roommates and um, she just recently got married and moved and she was looking for a job. And she mentioned something to Haley about, would your mom ever want any help? And I thought, wow, she really has the qualities that I look for in the, because I now, she's my sixth person to work with me right now, currently. So um, she has the qualities of these girls that have stuck it out with me. So yeah. Emily and Laura and Deb and Haley, um, and we've got another new one coming on and then, and then Chelsea. So she is uh, very type A, very systematic, very devoted, very passionate, um, loyal, trustworthy, smart, um, driven, self-driven, mm -hmm. yeah. self-motivated. Um, she has all of that. And I knew that about her. So she's my little homegrown girl right now. And I love her. She's doing a fantastic job and she will be actually taking Emily's, um, Emily's course so that she can, because she, she's never done anything like this ever, but yeah. I know she, I knew she was interested and I know she has the skills. So yeah. Yeah, just be open to it. Just be open to it. Just start networking and researching. They're not going to always fall into your lap like right. by the grace of God, Emily did. Yeah. There, there. That doesn't always happen. That's rare. Yeah, it really is. So I do have a VA uh, crash course. If you have somebody you want to put through the course, and I can teach. I teach everything I know from about digital marketing and get somebody up and running quickly. But what Tracy said about posting in Facebook groups and networking with friends. Um, is in other business owners is just, it sounds so cliche, but it's so true. You're going to get the best referrals that way. Yeah. It's so. no, it's no different than looking for, you know, someone who's looking for a good housekeeper, you know, you don't want it just anyone coming into your yeah. home and I'm not compl not comparing a VA yeah. to a housekeeper or vice versa. I'm just saying <laughs> that there's someone who works tight with you in a very intimate space that you have yes. a lot of pride over and you don't want yes. anyone in your business like that. And so you want someone yeah. that comes with a good referral that you can trust um, and that you can depend on. Right. So yeah. it's really no different than that. And how do you, how do you find a housekeeper? You ask your friends and family, you know, you ask around yeah. people that use them. So as a military wife, like I, I move a ton and I, don't have time to vet everything. So word of mouth is golden. If yeah. I get two people that say the same thing, I'm like, done, I'm going. Done. <laughs> yeah. I'm spending no more time on this. I'm going straight to what people yeah. say. And um, yeah, but you have to be open to the idea. So I hope this Facebook just puts a little bit of um, insight into your head about how this really works online. If you are thinking about growing and just know that this is out there. People don't even know. I didn't even know I was a VA. Jennifer kept calling me a VA. I'm like, what's that? Uh, I was a freelancer. And yeah. so I, the more people I feel like we can tell about this, we can help people either get hired as VAs or find a good VA that will help them grow because it's life is too short to be stressed out. <laughs> you don't have to have, you know, Emily's education happens to fall into this. Her degree yeah. happens to fall into this industry quite easily. But, um, it doesn't have to, you know, yeah. it doesn't have to. In fact, someone I think just asked a good question. What, what was that? Um, it says, what if a VA is new, but trained through a course, are they still worth giving them a chance? Yes. I feel like, uh, oh, Absolutely. for sure. Absolutely. And has every person that's come along that we've tried to implement into an aspect of my business worked? No. Have we had to say thank you, but no thank you? Yes. Mm -hmm. But yes, everybody deserves a chance. And just because they didn't work well with my group doesn't mean that they aren't going to work well with someone else's group, you know? Yeah. So absolutely. And VAs can start in one little sphere. You could have, like me, when I started with Jennifer Allwood, I was doing her Pinterest. Pinterest. I helped her grow her Pinterest. And then she kept, and I, I was hungry about it and very driven and like educated myself because I wanted to know more, but I kept expanding into more and more areas and took more and more off her plate. And that's how that became. So if you have somebody like um, Tracy's Chelsea, who is homegrown, get them to take over your Pinterest. And uh, if they can take a course and understand the big picture, 
even better, even better. And if, if they just, even if they take a course in Pinterest, that's okay. I really like my course, of course, because it's teaching. A little <laughs> how, bit of everything. Yeah. And that's what people are lacking out there. And I'm filling a big hole because people, you know, it's everything we've done for you for four years is basically yeah. what my course is. Right. Uh, but it doesn't have to be somebody with experience because if somebody's really experienced, they're really expensive. And that's just not always realistic. It's not, it's not. for someone who's working out of their garage and has never hired anyone to do anything. They're not going to want to hire someone for $35 an hour. It's just not even feasible. It doesn't make any sense. No. So no. I like that. I like what you said. That's good. Someone yeah. else just, you can also, Oh, no, but I just want to say really quick, you can also um, do an internship. If you really, really need help, you could do a social media internship and get somebody to help you with your Instagram and see how that goes. I, I mean, you, that. you could get I what you that. pay for. But I see yeah. that people do that in groups and they have people and they, they put up, oh, I need help with this. It's not a paying job, but if you want the experience and I'm like, I can't, that is yeah. not that's not my personality. I cannot ask someone to work for me for free. I, just, yeah. I can't do that. But there's people out there just willing yeah. to do it for the experience. Well, you want to be able to say, I have helped somebody with Instagram yeah. and you go from there. It's on that VA to take the courses and learn. Yeah. Um, I actually got my first job out of college. I don't know if I told you this. I volunteered and I wrote at a, uh, I wrote for the newspaper. And I wrote wow. fe feature articles and I wrote four and then they wow. hired me and I didn't even know they were going to have an opening. But when that opening came, I was the first hired. So, wow. yeah. So somebody, Wendy's asking if you need a website be before hiring a VA. No, you definitely do not have to have a website. Your web, your VA could actually help you manage and get that going. Your VA could get that up and going for you. I mean, they, she's probably the likelihood that she's a website developer or, you know, designer is probably slim, yeah. but um, she probably, she should be able to help you get there or get the right person that you need and then help you along with that. Or even like take that part off your plate. If, if the commun communication is going well and be able to help design the website and craft the message on it and do some of that. Like, I think I would have a field day doing that for a client if I, if I understood their branding, but a VA could really help you, um, make sales through social media, start an Etsy shop, um, just all kinds of things. It doesn't have to necessarily be a blog and, and a website. Right. So thank you for that question. That was a really good question. And I feel like we're probably missing a lot of areas right now. And um, I apologize. I'm no professional here. But if you do have a question, Tracy and I will jump back in the group and help you out. And I really want you to know that Tracy and I are doing office hours with five things I helped her to grow her business with October 21st. So follow the link and go over to Tracy's page and give her a like. You won't miss it. And you could catch the replay over there. And that will be more for the person who's ready for the next step. Right. And um, right now, we just want to put that idea in your head. Like, I have a talent. I know how to paint. I know how to DIY. This could be a thing. Mm -hmm. So real quick, Tracy, I want to do a lightning round before we go. Okay. And get what, every does what does lightning round mean? Like, quick answers. Okay. Oh. You yeah. You don't need to expound on it too much. But okay. just, you know, um, what is okay. your... What is your favorite social media? Instagram. Why? So that's not a lightning round when I ask why, but oh. why? <laughs> <laughs> uh, I don't know. You know, it's like when you find your husband and someone says, why? And I'm like, I don't know. It just feels right. <laughs> I, yeah. It I think for furniture right. painters. Yeah. Some people hate Instagram. My mom, she much prefers Facebook. I get it. Yeah. But I, I love Instagram. Good. I do too. I, I do too. And I'm so surprised by that. What, what, what makes me money? Facebook. Yeah. Thank you, Facebook. But for Tracy and just Tracy's world, if I ever get to just peruse social media, which isn't very often, it's yeah. Instagram. Yeah. What's your least favorite social media? Oh, is, can you say Pinterest is a social media? Yeah. Okay. It is. So Pinterest, because why? I know nothing about it and it's overwhelming. It's too big. And I don't use it very often. And um, it makes me actually the most money, pushes more to, more business and followers to my website than any other social media. So I should be yeah. want to be married to it. Um, but I don't, I, it overwhelms me. 
For, I got to tell a quick story. I'm so bad at lightning rounds. I knew who Tracy was because I was doing Pinterest for a zillion other clients. And I kept coming across this amazing furniture. And it was this yellow china hut she did with the shattered glass in the background and the different tones of yellow. Uh -huh. And I loved it. And I didn't even really know I liked yellow or have a design style or anything. And I just kept coming across this. And I was like, who is this chick? Her pins suck. I <laughs> they, did. they weren't done right at all. And we can go into more of that later uh, in other trainings. So but um, God, when I found out that was you, when Jennifer hooked me up with you and that was your piece, I was like, ooh, we're going to have fun. That and I think so broken. Pinterest so yeah, messed up. But now it's up to 18,000 followers. Can mm -hmm. you believe that? I wish yeah. I was better at documenting no. our starting stats, but yeah. So, and it's, uh, let's just be right. Zero. <laughs> <laughs> it was mom, grandma, and daughters. Yeah. I'm just kidding. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Um, when do you find time to write your blog? Oh, uh, I try to batch write. Like people, do you know what that is? It's like batch cooking. So, you know, people, well, I batch cook. So, um, I eat very healthy and I do a lot of my cooking on Sunday and that's what gets me through the very busy week. So I try to batch write as well. And Mondays are a day that I don't have one live video. I do live videos every day of the week. Mondays are a day that I don't have live videos. And I try very hard to never schedule them on Mondays because that's my admin day. It's a day where I sit my butt on the couch with my computer in my lap and I write. I answer emails. I write, 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 try to get my blogs written, try to get ahead. So, yeah. Monday. You're good at that. You put on your CEO hat, you get to work, and then you go paint and have fun later. <laughs> and I love to write blogs. Yeah. I love it's it. fun. It, you really come into your own voice and your own message, and we could just talk forever about that. Yeah. What? Okay, what's your favorite paint, piece of furniture to paint? Oh, wow. That's a good question. Oh, uh, armoires. Yeah. You like the really big? Big, lots of open, uh, open opportunity. Yeah. Armoires. What is your, you can only pick one, top Dixie Belle paint color right now? Right now? Mm -hmm. mm, it's changed. Oh, it has it? Ooh. Five. Yeah, I have a top five. Okay, let's do five. I'll keep it easy on you. Oh, you want to do my five? Well, I'm well, going to say the one right now. Okay, so go. Top five I talk about all the time, but I actually am really honed in on one right now that I'm really just yearning to use all the time, and it's plum crazy. Yeah. I love it. It is. I saw somebody in my neighborhood who had a door painted that color. Oh, yeah. It was gorgeous. With, it was gray and then that, like, deep purple. Plum crazy with black wax. That's, that's mm -hmm. where my heart is right now. Um, what has been the hardest thing about being a business leader of your, of your team? What, like, how do I ask that question? Yeah. What was the surprising challenge about like finding yourself in charge of the team? Letting go. Let it go. Yeah. Let it go. <laughs> letting go, letting, uh, letting go of the reins and, de and, uh, not delegating. I never have a problem being bossy, but <laughs> Actually, I'm pretty trustworthy too, but letting go and let someone else do the things for me on in yeah. different areas. That yeah. that was the hardest at first. Now, no problem. Yeah. In fact, I don't know how I will ever go back. I don't I I if I ever had to go back, I would just quit. Like I could I don't have a desire to ever do it by myself again ever. Yeah. You I well, I'm so proud of you for not quitting cuz I know um <laughs> You, you have way too much good in you to share. And I have just believed in you every step of the way. And it has been such a pleasure working with you. And um, I'm just so proud of you. I've wanted to quit so many times. Yeah. Gosh, I feel like we need a part two and three of this. But okay. for now, yeah. if you have questions about the next couple steps for uh, building an online business, what you should do next, pop over to Tracy's page, give her a like, and we'll follow up with you October 21st. If you have any other questions, let us know in the group. Can't thank you enough for joining us and thank Dixie you. Bell for having thank us. You, Emily, thank you, Dixie yeah. Bell. Mm. Yeah. All right. Thanks, guys. We'll talk Bye. to you later. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye. Bye. Bye. Done. Are we done? Yeah. Yay. Are you sure? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I don't oh know. It says offline. What? It says offline. Yeah, we are. I have to sing funny. Okay. Um, I hope that that was helpful.
so what was the deal? You put your other 30 minute one in uh, and you said it didn't do as well as, as they hoped. So what do you mean you put it where? Cause I know she shared it in the little, uh, um, 